Got something special for y'all today. I'm going to be sharing with you my super secret chili recipe. It's the bomb. You're going to love it. Hey everyone, welcome back to Grains and Grit. My name is Felicia and on this channel, we talk all the things, real whole grains from a biblical perspective. So I've been asked for more bean recipes because beans are legumes. They're extremely good and healthy for y'all. I'm all about the beans. I do have videos of my three favorite bean recipes that I use a lot, but this time I finally got my husband convinced to share with y'all his secret chili recipe. Now I will say, disclaimer, I'm not allowed to disclose one secret ingredient. I'm sorry. But otherwise, this is a really good chili recipe that you can do so much with and even, you know, ad adapt it to what you like. And the great thing about this is this is using dried beans. You can also use canned beans, but y'all know me. I prefer using the dried beans. They store very well. Um, so these are using dried beans, ground beef, and a whole lot of spices. So let's get to it. All right. So first of all, we start with two pounds of ground beef that is browned and then one large diced up onion and three cans of kidney beans if you're using dried beans this is basically one pound of dried beans that has been cooked and then we're going to add two cans of diced tomatoes two cans of rotel and one packet of onion soup mix and then we have anywhere from one to three tablespoons chili powder two teaspoons cumin three tablespoons of salt one tablespoon of pepper two tablespoons of oregano, half a teaspoon of liquid smoke, three cloves of minced garlic, and then we have a quarter cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of paprika, two tablespoons onion powder, and then four cups of water. Wowzers, yes, that is a lot of ingredients. And then we're just going to stir them all up and then we're gonna put it on our stove top, get it up to boiling, and then we put it on simmer for at least 30 minutes or longer. Or at this point, you can just be dumping all of this into your crock pot, put it on low for about six to eight, six to eight hours or high for three to four hours. Bottom line is the longer that it sits here, the better the flavor gets. So this is actually perfect to make one day and then actually consume it, eat it the next day because the flavors just get amazing, but do with it as you will but while this is cooking we're going to whip up some cornbread and this is with freshly milled corn and freshly milled wheat i do have a video and recipe for this i will put it in the description box below but nothing better with chili than some homemade cornbread so we're just making this up because this is going to easily cook up while the chili is simmering on top of the stove All right, so here we have it where it's gotten up to a boil. The chili has gotten up to a boil. I just kind of give it a good stir and then easy peasy, just add on a lid and just let it simmer to get all of those flavors melded together. Again, for at least 30 minutes. And here it is, it is done. It looks and smells amazing. And right on time, here is the cornbread, fresh, hot from the oven, which you know what that means, y'all. It means we now slather it up with some butter because you need some butter on your cornbread to make it good. And nothing better than it fresh out of the oven. So just coat this all in butter, and then we're going to get ready to serve. There are multiple things that you can serve this with. I'll put them all in the recipe, but bottom line, we just kind of keep it simple where I put the chili in a bowl and then put it, um, put some shredded cheddar cheese on top of it to melt it, but you can put on top sour cream, jalapenos, it, the sky's really the limit, but it is delicious. Just know that this is a crazy hot chili if you're serving it fresh. So I generally plate it about 10 minutes before we even eat because that way it'll cool down. The cheese will melt a bit more um, and nobody's tongues will be burned to oblivion. But here it is y'all with some cornbread. This is one of my family's favorite recipes. It is kid friendly. My kids like it. I just usually back off on the chili powder a bit if you're serving this to kids and they do not like that, um, that spicy type flavor. But this is it y'all, some um, dried beans. It is delicious. And you also get the wonderful bread 
from fr freshly milled wheat and freshly milled corn. There you have it y'all. Hopefully this was helpful. Do know this is an excellent meal to freeze, to throw in a crock pot. Um, so this is a very large bulk recipe. This actually feeds like two meals to my large family. So feel free to cook this entire recipe and then half of it, just freeze it for a time whenever it's a rainy day and you need a quick freezer meal. You can just pull it out, throw it in the crock pot, have that warming up all day. And again, printable recipe will be in the description box below and I'll have all of those details as well. So as always, hopefully this was a helpful video. Let me know if you make this recipe. Sorry, I can't share with y'all the super secret ingredient that he uses to really make this awesome, but it's still a good chili that you're gonna love. So as always, y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week. Bye.